Hey booktubers, it's the Hufflepuffle here, and I know I haven't posted in forever. <laughs> so, I'm making this little video to um, give you all an update on what's going on. So, it's going to address a couple of topics, um, and it's going to have an exciting announcement at the end. Um, so, without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, first order of business is hair. Yeah, I cut my hair. It was actually a while ago. My hair is short. That's changed. That's really all you need to know about that. Moving on um, from the hair topic. Pretty self-explanatory. The next topic is braces. They are off and now I just have a retainer. So there's that. That has changed. That is new. No more braces. Just a retainer. I know. You're probably like, Lindsay, where the hell have you been? Or you just don't care. Most likely you don't care. But I've been at my lake, for those of you who are wondering, and it's hard to get Wi-Fi and I didn't have my camera or a tripod or something to edit on or Wi-Fi, or I didn't have very many books either. I only have a few books at the lake at my Kobo, so I've been there for like a month and a half, so I haven't really been able to film or edit or post anything or read. I haven't really read in the past month at all. I'm still trying to read after City of Heavenly Fire. I know that was a long time ago, but My feels are still recovering. I'm having trouble starting a new book. Um, but I did start one. I did. Ugh. I started Reboot by Amy Tintira um, a couple days ago. And I'm not really that far into it because I've been busy. But I'm going to finish it. And it'll be the first book I finished since City of Heavenly Fire. Basically the first book I've started since Heavenly Fire. Okay, I'm going to be doing a collective book haul for all the books that I've got in the time that I have not been posting or filming. So yes, collective book haul, that is next. Okay, collective book haul, collective book haul. Um, a lot of these books I have no idea if I've hauled them or not. I just don't know if I have, so I'm just going to do them all. Um, first book, um, I think I bought all of these at the same time. No, I bought these two at the same time. Yes. Um, first is A Tale of Two Castles by Gail Levine, I think. I took the dust jacket off because the dust jacket was ugly, but the actual book is really pretty. Um, it's, it's by the same person that wrote El Enchanted. It's an old grade book, but it looks really cute and interesting. And I wanted to pick up a book that I haven't heard anything about. And it has a dragon in it, so dragons are cool. Um, the next book is Choker by Elizabeth Woods. I've heard a few things about this on BookTube, but not that much. Um, it looks really interesting, and the, the it, naked, it looks so pretty. It's white, and it's got, like, oh, 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 it's so pretty. And, um, the actual cover is really pretty as well. And, um, it was only, um, $5.99, and it's a hardcover, so I was like, I have to buy that right now. So I did. Um, next book is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. Um, I've heard a lot about this, like a lot, so I'm really excited to read it, and it also looks really pretty naked. Look at it. It's so pretty. I love this white with the black handwriting on it. It's a theme. I love it. It's just so pretty. It's such a pretty book, and it looks like my type of cutesy little contemporary read, so I'm excited to read this. I am. I'm very excited. Um, next. Next books are Legend by Mary Lou and Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews, which I think I bought at the same time. I don't really remember because it was kind of a while ago. But both these books look super, super interesting and I'm really excited to read this. For those of you who don't know, this is the first in a trilogy and I think this is a standalone. I'm pretty sure it is. And it's a contemporary. Um, this is dystopian. This is dystopian. Next book is Attachments by Rainbow Rowell, and I started reading this, but I'm not really into it that much because it has a lot of references to like the 90s, and I was born in the 90s, but 1999, 
so I don't really remember that much of the 90s. Like, I still remember being a 90s kid, kind of, and, I, and like, the 90s trends were still in the early 2000s, so I remember it. But this is like, uh, I don't know, it has a lot of like references, because these people are like old in 1999. That's when I was born, so a lot of these like references to the 90s I don't really get. Um, so anyway, next book is The Collected Works of William Shakespeare. My mother gave this to me. It was hers. Um, so there's that. I'm going to read that. Exciting. Exciting. Um, the next book is City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. I have read this. I loved it. It was amazing. Epic conclusion to the Mortal Instruments series, and I just really liked it. And yes, and this is the reason I haven't been able to pick up a book since May, because this. But it's so good, look how thick it is, and how beautiful, loved it. Um, the next book I got, like a couple days ago, and I got Eleanor and Park by Rin Morrell, finally, and it's the collector's edition. What, so it's blue? Exclusive collector's edition. I just couldn't resist because I've been wanting to buy this book for a really long time And then I saw the collector's edition and it's blue and it's really pretty and it's um, It's got like exclusive fan art in it and an exclusive Q&A with Rainbow Rowell in the back of it So yes, I just couldn't resist. I was like it's the collector's edition. I have to buy it now And it was the only one in the store and Last but not least is the book I'm currently reading, Reboot by Amy Tintera, which is really good so far, even though I just got into it. Um, yes, yeah, so I've been wanting to read it for a while, and it was the staff pick of the person that was helping me out at the store. Well, she wasn't really helping me out, but I was talking to her at the store, and it was her staff pick, so I was like, oh, now I have to get it because I've been wanting it for a while, and it's someone's staff pick. I have to buy it now. So, yes, that's the collective book haul. Exciting announcement! That's the last step of this video. So, um, I need a drum roll. Okay. Ha! <laughs> Exciting announcement! In August, I am going to be vlogging every other day. I think. I don't know how well that's going to work out, but I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it, and I think it's going to be successful. So I'm going to be vlogging and uploading every other day in August, and I'm going to be going to dance camp for the first two weeks, so that might be kind of hectic. Um, the vlogs might be going up a little late, but I'm going to be vlogging every other day. I'm not sure if that means posting every other day, but it definitely means vlogging, and I'm going to try and post them on the same day that I vlog, but it might be hard because dance camp, especially in the first two weeks. In the second two weeks, it'll be easier. I'll be, you know, um, doing nothing. Um, so yes, vlogging every other day in August. That is my exciting announcement, and it's to make up to you guys for not posting for, like, a couple months. And I know you probably really don't care about me all that much, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. So, yeah. There you have it. Huffle Puffle out. Let's jump right in. Okay. Okay. Let's get this party started. I really need to memorize my scripts before I start filming. It was actually a while ago, but phone! What's the next topic? I wrote them down. Next topic. I am really way too hyper right now to be filming, but you know what? Whatever. 